Hello and welcome to today's vlog. I'm vlogging on my phone today because I I thought I had my camera with me. I had it in my hand and then I had to go back in the house for something and I ended up forgetting my camera. So right now I'm sitting in the parking lot. I'm gonna grab something small and quick to eat because I haven't really ate. I ate in the morning like a light breakfast but I haven't really had lunch so I wanna have something small before uh, dinner time. So I'm gonna go to P.F. Chang's right now, try some sushi maybe or something. And then I wanna go to Best Buy because I wanna get a new camera. I've tried this camera before. I think I vlogged a little bit with it and I tested it and I just couldn't get the hang of it. So I'm gonna try it again because I see a lot of the girlies out here on YouTube that use that camera and they love it. So I'm like, okay, I'm, maybe I'm just doing something wrong. I probably am. And so I wanna give it a try. The only thing with that camera that i don't love or i didn't love when i first tried it was the audio it sounds very like muffled so i want to pick it up again try it again see if i like it so that's where i'm gonna go after this and then today's taco tuesday so i want to go to trader joe's get some ingredients to make some guac get some chips get some chicken to make tacos and we're just gonna have a cute little day together it's gonna be a shorter vlog i think because all that's really all i'm doing today is like going to get the camera and cooking dinner but um, I thought I would just, you know, record it, give you guys a little day in my life. This morning, I've pretty much spent most of the day on my computer, just editing, getting some work done, answering emails, clearing out some things. And I'm barely stepping out for lunch right now and it's like three o'clock. So I'm gonna have a later dinner today, but I wanted to get out of the house since I've been in the house all day. So I'm excited to try this camera out. Hopefully I like it, I don't know, we'll see. Now I can vlog on my camera. I did end up forgetting it. I sat down on this chair and I forgot the camera sitting right there. But I ended up going to Trader Joe's, getting some stuff. I'll show you what I got there for dinner. And then we have the new camera. I did end up finding this margarita mix. I've never tried this, but I figured I would give it a try because I don't really feel like getting ingredients from scratch and like doing a drink. Maybe we'll try that another night. But this is the La Vida Bonita ready to drink strawberry margarita mix. It already has liquor in it. You just need to add ice and whatever garnishes you want to add to it. So I'm just going to do ice and I think frozen strawberries. I'm going to try that. And what else did we get? Got some tortilla chips. Also they had these and they had an unsalted version. But your girl likes salt, so <laughs> I got that. Some diced onions, because I'm lazy. Some, let me just say, Trader Joe's is, at least the ones near me, are the worst to go to when you're looking for ripe avocados. All of the avocados, every time I go, are like super green and hard. This was the only bag that had two decent ones, so hopefully I'll be able to use these for my guac tonight. I'm only gonna make a little bit, so two should be fine. And then I got some pineapple because i love pineapple just the two kind of like snack on i wanted to try this turkey sauce turkey spinach swiss cheese wrap it has honey dijon mustard and an herb garlic 
tortilla never tried this either but i thought it looked good so i just picked this up maybe i'll have it for like lunch tomorrow and then this organic kale chicken caesar salad it has cheese croutons and caesar dressing looks good i love i love a good caesar salad so pick that up just got one tomato because i'm only making a little bit of guac and then i got this pack of organic chicken breast tenders that way they're already chopped up and i just have to cut them or dice them up into little squares for the tacos and then season it and we'll be good to go and then of course i got tortillas i did still need cilantro but they didn't have cilantro they were totally and completely out of cilantro at trader joe's and i did not feel like making another stop so the guac is not going to have cilantro that's like the best part but i was lazy so that's everything i picked up at a trader joe's i'm not going to make dinner right away i'm going to wait a little while or maybe i can start on the chicken a little bit once i go ahead and open up my camera i'll start working on the chicken and because i ate lunch so late i'm like not even that Let's get into this camera. I'm gonna do a cute un unboxing of it over here on the table first. It's okay for a quick drink. It's to me it's a little strong. <laughs> it's gonna be a tipsy taco Tuesday. Okay. That's my favorite try though. I've never tried these chips either. The avocados were a little hard. So it was kind of difficult to make the guac, but doesn't have cilantro but it'll do so then mm. okay. it's 
8.45. So I'm gonna finish my dinner, finish my drink. Probably watch some YouTube videos. I'm gonna try to edit tonight, but it's kind of getting late and I'm a little tired. I went to the pool yesterday, so I'm like a little beat up <laughs> from the sun. So I think I'm gonna call it a night early and then wake up early and edit because I have a video that's due tomorrow. I haven't played with my camera yet. I have it charging. I'm gonna watch a few YouTube videos while I'm in bed and try to figure out the settings on it first before I try it out. Right now I'm filming on my Canon camera still. But I'm sure in the next vlog, you guys will see me on new camera. Cheers. Hey you guys, we're testing out the new vlog camera today. So hopefully the footage looks okay. Hopefully the sound is okay. I kind of tweaked around with the settings. So I'm still messing with it, still trying to see like what works, what doesn't, but we're on the new vlog camera, okay? And I am on my way to brunch. Today is Thursday. Um, I'm meeting up with one of my girlfriends to go catch up, have brunch. She was off this morning. She goes to work later, but she was off, so we're like, let's meet up, let's have some brunch um, since I haven't really seen her. Like got to hang out with her, hang out with her in a while. So that's where I'm headed right now. I got myself ready. My outfit's pretty casual. I'm wearing this bodysuit from Zara. I'm wearing all black, so it looks very like sophisticated. I am maybe gonna step into the office later, run a quick errand or something, <laughs> but still comfortable. So my bodysuit is from Zara, and then I'm wearing black jogger sweatpants and my black Nikes that I wore in my last vlog, I think it was. My new um, Nike Press, not Prestos, I don't know what they're called, free runs, my Nike free runs. So very casual, but all black, so I look like, you know, put together. But anyway, we're going to a new place that I've never tried. Um, it's called Bluestone Lane in the city of Orange. So we're gonna, it looks cute, it looks very brunchy. I don't think I'm really dressed for the spot because I'm dressed a little more casual, sophisticated. When this spot looks like very girly, brunchy, airy, but whatever. <laughs> I didn't know what to wear. And so I was like, oh, let me just wear all black. Can't go wrong. So that's where I'm on my way to right now. And then after this, I think I'm gonna go get a petty and get my nails reshaped because the last time I went, they made them very thick. One day they do them bomb and perfect and then another time, it's like hit or miss. So I'm probably gonna get them reshaped. And then I kind of want to go to like Crate and Barrel. I haven't been to Crate and Barrel or CB2 in a while. I don't know if there's one out here. I'm going to check once I sit down. But I kind of want to go to Crate and Barrel, see what new stuff they have. And I don't know. I don't know what else we'll get up to this vlog. I don't really have too much planned for today. This weekend should be pretty laid back too. So as of right now, that's what's on the agenda. This one looks like it'd be more almond. That looks like it'd be whole. Cause whole milk is usually very white. Or is it almond? Does that taste like almond? I, I can't tell. Taste good? This tastes like whole. Or am I tripping? Yeah, that's whole. I just got my nails done. They look so bomb. I'm in the Starbucks line right now. Hold up. Okay. Hold up. Hi. 
Hi, Santa B575. I have a new letter for you today. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, with peach juice. Thank you. Can I get a straw, please? Yeah. Trying a new drink today. I got a strawberry acai, which is not new, but I asked for no lemonade and instead I added peach juice. So those are the vibes that I'm on right now. I didn't feel like having coffee. It's already later in the evening, but I didn't have coffee today. I just was not on a coffee kick. So I was like, I want a little refresher because your girl's thirsty. So anyway, I was saying my nails came out so good. I posted on my Instagram story like the shape before she even put the polish and it looked bomb. And then she put the polish on top and I was like, this is cute. I don't really do French tip. That's what I went for today. But I was like, I just had like a clear nude base and I wanted to do something different. Um, but next time I go, I'm going to her and I'm getting just like a nude, like a nudish clear because it looked so good, just pretty and simple. And now my nails are ready for the weekend. Let me give you guys a close up. It's nothing crazy. It's literally just French tip. Let's try this drink. This the drink. I always take the sticker off. I don't know why. I don't the sticker on there. It ruins the vibes. That tastes good. I'm glad I asked for it with no lemonade because this joint would have been way too sweet. Strawberry aside, I could have done without the strawberries, like the actual fruit in there, but add a little peach juice. Maybe next time I'll ask for it with a splash of peach juice because I think I asked them to substitute the lemonade with peach juice and it's a little sweeter. So I would literally just say like a little splash because it's pretty sweet. It kind of tastes like the peach ring candies. That's what it tastes like. It's good though. 10 out of 10 recommend. <laughs> There's this girl I follow on TikTok but she has an accent. And I was watching one of her TikToks and she says like 10 out of 10 would recommend and she doesn't say the d so it's funny i don't know anyway i'm on my way home <laughs> i don't have much plan for the night i think i'm gonna do a cleanup before the weekend because i don't really spend a lot of time at home on the weekends so i think i'm gonna get home do sweep mop like the whole thing just tidy up a little bit so that when i get back my my space is clean pet peeve Okay, pet peeve number one. When you're trying to merge into a lane and it's supposed to be one car, one car, one car, one car, right? And people, at least people in LA, like they're not, if you don't squeeze in, like they're not letting you by. So when someone is kind enough to actually listen to the rules and do one by one by one, like one and one, I always say thank you. Pet peeve number two is when I, listen to the rules and do one by one if i'm the one on this side that's already on the freeway and somebody's trying to merge in if i let them in and they don't say thank you because even though it's that's what you're supposed to do people don't do that out here so it's a very courteous thing <laughs> like just say thank you i try to always remember to tell people like thank you or like i'll stick my hand out the window like that guy behind me he saw me say thank you and he waved back and said like you're welcome so just be a, a kind human being that follows the rules sometimes, okay? Especially on the road. 